Hi, my name is Frederick Chipkin. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create colorings in Adobe Photoshop both with ease and speed, yet with the accuracy you need to create professional results. In the first part of this lesson, we're going to start with the very basics. I'm going to show you how to change colors on a color reduced or index design using Photoshop's color table. Then we're going to dive into something really useful and a common task for most textile designers, matching the colors in a design to a pitch sheet. And I'll be showing you a very accurate way of doing this by using HSB color charts. In the second part of the lesson, I'm going to show you how to create colorings by using layers so that the tones within a layer match a given color, such as a Pantone color, accurately and dare I say, effortlessly. Before you take this class, I strongly suggest that you take my class called Adobe Photoshop for Textile Design Part 2 Color Reduction, where I'll be showing you how to take a design that's in RGB color mode and reduce it down to index color. In short, taking my class on color reduction will help prepare you for this class. So before we begin this lesson, on this page, I provided a link so you can download practice images and color charts. So pause the lesson, get your practice images and color charts, and we'll continue. Don't forget to save these files into a location on your computer where you can easily find them again. Okay, so on my screen is the Design Bouquet Fields V1 Indexed. It's one of the practice images that you just downloaded. Now, the moment your design is changed from RGB to index color mode, you gain access to a wonderful thing, Photoshop's color table. The color table allows you to change individual colors quickly and easily. To get to the color table now, just go to Image, Mode, Color Table. And now each color box you see on the color table represents a color in the design. To change a color, first make sure that preview is checked. Then click on one of the color boxes. And when you do, the color picker will pop up. Now on the color picker, there are several options for mixing your colors. The ones that are most commonly used are the HSB colors. HSB stands for hue, saturation, and brightness. You can change the hue to anything between 0 and 359. Saturation and brightness are measured in percentages. Therefore, both saturation and brightness, you can pick a number between 0 and 100. As you can see, changing the ground color in this design was a snap. Now I'm going to change a few more colors so you can really get the feel of how simple it is to change colors this way. After you finish changing all the colors you want to change, simply click on OK, and then, voila, you have a coloring. OK, now that you have the concept, let's move on to the good stuff. But first, let's undo what we just did. Let's go to Edit, Undo Color Table. Now, simply changing the colors the way I just showed you is great for a quick concept. However, it's not very precise. The reason for this is that the colors on your screen will never perfectly match the colors that you print out on your printer. Therefore, trying to match the colors in your design to specific color standards may seem next to impossible. There is, however, a simple and elegant solution to this. Mm -hmm. 